a yo it is every it is everybody wow what is up everybody it's the kid it's the king hitman here we got some news for jp's uh celebration for pan now this is this is the celebration and then we'll you know we'll start to ease into basically the download celebration i like i know you guys are ready for that people are theorizing it's going to be baby saga themed i completely get that i personally I'm still bought into it being super uh, Dragon Ball superhero content. I just, I don't, this is like a window. This is one of those windows that Dokkan doesn't want to miss. Like how much further can you push it back? The movie will already be out basically globally once, you know, the download celebration date were to hit. So we got about 30 days. I, I don't know what else you could do. Now there's a lot, well, there's a fair amount here. This was actually a pretty big celebration. There was a lot going on for this pan celebration over the course of the next couple weeks. So it will, it should be able to hold JP players over. First of all, the GT Trio is getting their easy A as we all were hoping they would. Now, when you go over to the GT Trio, this is the thing about them. Their leader skill is like OP. Like it's actually, it's just the category they give it to. That's the issue, right? Their, their leader skill came out over three and a half years ago and it's still holding up uh statistically so dragon ball seekers four key 170 i don't think they're gonna give it more key i don't even think they're gonna give it more stats i think they're just gonna buff the super int and make that like four key 130 because i mean unless they want to make it four key 180 which i'm all for i don't think they're going past 180 percent another super attack effect they do raise defense on both supers which is very valuable i think their 18 key might, it, it might stay the same defensively and then maybe they raise attack now, like attack and defense by 33%. Hopefully their 12 key they raise to three turns too. I don't think they're gonna get much crazier on super attack effects. They could go in whatever direction they want for their passive skill. There's not much I can say about that. I mean, they already have like different phase buffs with the 77 upon 18 key. They do get the one key per Dragon Ball Seekers category ally on the team. I don't only want to run them on that team. So it would be nice if you made it so that like, I don't know, they give themselves an extra two key per Rainbow Key Sphere, like two key, you know, 10% attack and defense per Rainbow Key Sphere. I think that would help them a lot. Just they, they never had a shortage of being able to hit hard. Like this unit can still hit decently hard for what they are, how old they are, but you can't, you still got to tone them up, right? Like you still got to make sure that they're fully built out offensively. Their defense is still questionable. Like even with this effect, their defense is still not enough. So you got to massively buff their defense. And like I said, just make them a bit more key sufficient Add a different mechanic. Their pat or their link set is actually really, really good. Saiyan Warrior, Ray Saiyan Lineage, solid support, like GT, prepare for battle. The fact they have prepare for battle I, is so dope. I forgot that they had that, so that's good. And then of course, Legendary Power, Shattering the Limit. They are on a handful of categories. Categories when they came out, them and the, the AGL baby, when they came out, those units did not have categories. Like it's so good that they, you know, have gotten teams over time. I just love that, especially the newest one, Bond of Parent and Child, that's very good for them. So I'm glad that they have that buff. I don't have much more to say about them until we get their info, but I do think they'll be pretty good. I don't <laughs> I don't know that they'll be as good as, as Rose and Zamasu, right? Because Rose and Zamasu are on a whole nother. They are the fourth best unit in the game. Like, I don't care. They're the fourth best unit in the game. So I don't know that they'll be that good, but they will be an exceptional unit. And now, besides that, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Where is it? A new prime battle LR. That's TN. I want to say Tien and Chaozu, but maybe it's just Tien. I'm not sure what the translation here says. I kind of just saw this on my timeline and got into it. So I'm not sure if it's a Tien and Chaozu card, which we already have as an LR. I just had them that we already have. I think it's just an LR Tien. I do think that. So if I'm wrong, you guys will know I'm wrong. You don't need to correct me. I'll just, I'll go look up the translation in a moment. But assuming it's another just LR, well, I guess just LR Tien. I, their link set is going to be terrible. Like his link set, I should say, is going to be terrible. I mean, Z Fighters Crane School, like he's going to have those. He's probably going to have Dodon Ray, which is one of the worst links in the game. He, of course, will have Legendary Power, Shatter, and Limit. His best link will be Shocking Speed. Hopefully, he doesn't have Telepathy because Chaozu's not. 
I, I'm assuming Chao Tu is not in the card. So if he doesn't have telepathy, what what would that last link be? Would it be solid support? It would be. It would be solid support or cold judgment or experience fighters. You know? Okay, this CN might be better off than I think because maybe instead of like Crane School and Dodon Ray, he has cold judgment and solid support. And then instead of telepathy, maybe he'll have experienced fighters. This team could have better links than I think. He might swap out shocking speed for over in a flash. I don't know how I feel about that. Only time will tell with that one. New Extreme Super Battle Road stage coming for JP. I'm, I hope you guys are excited for that. I do, you know, I, I like seeing that because global players, it feels like global rarely. This is what it seems like global does. They release the SBR stages in bunches. Like instead of every single celebration, they release them in bunches. Like we'll go what feels like two months without the SBR stage. And then they'll drop like four within six weeks. Like if I don't know if I'm the only global player that feels that way, but that's just how it comes off. No, a new chain battle. You're going to fight Oceanus. I'm sure it's just gonna be Dragon Ball Seekers or maybe I don't, I don't know man GT Hero who I don't know uh, Chain Battle listen I like it for the equips I still think it's much better off than the World Tournament World Tournament is the worst mode in the game Why would you spend 72 hours grinding up a terrible free to play card and some orbs But I still I'm not you know gonna get hype over Chain Battle Grandpa Gohan the GOAT I mean I love this moment this is one of the only moments in Dragon Ball that really had the kid in this feels like where is he Grandpa Gohan STR Grandpa Gohan is getting his super strike awakening that moment when Goku like realizes it's his grandfather under the mask is one of the purest moments in Dragon Ball like people talk about Dragon Ball moments that make them feel something we don't only have to feel hype like rage what if I want to feel serenity huh what if I want what if I want a good little serotonin in my life? What if I want to feel positive for once? Grandpa Gohan and Goku make me feel positive, man. That's good feels. That's good vibes. That's family vibes. Now, this unit is another one of the super strikes. We have no idea what he's going to be built like because it's not like, you know, I don't know. Uh, who's a support? Uh, King Vegeta is a support now, right? Like he used to just give three key or he's I think it's Int and Fizz get three key or something like that. Or let's say Int, uh, Int, what's his name? Cold, Int, uh, not cold, Chilled. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's say Int Super Strike Chilled Easy A's, right? We know he's going to be a nuker. That's just who he is. This guy, 3 key, 2,000 attack and defense. Not 2,000%, bro. 2,000 attack and defense. Who knows what the hell he's going to be built like? I hope he does the Kamehameha when he awakens and they swap out like one or two of these links. I, of course, they got to swap something out for fear. He has four links. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they're going to add Shattering the Limit. I think they just add Shattering the Limit right here. That'll be it. That sucks. He is on a fair amount of teams, though. Goku Family, Bond of Master and Disciple, Bond of Parent and Child, Time Limit. Yeah, he's going to buff a couple, a couple of those terrible teams earthling that'll be good for him that's pretty much all i've got for you guys i don't want to make the video longer than it has to be i hope you guys uh enjoyed if you did enjoy consider liking the video i appreciate you guys so much when y'all do stuff like that you guys show love it means a lot to me man it does consider subscribing if you want more hitman content i got showcases coming out all day the day i'm dropping this so all those early showcases for pan oob the super saiyan goku easy a the the real dough easy a like that type of stuff i got it all coming on the way today so don't worry about that it's the kid hitman is off this